Hello everybody, this is Coach Bill, and I'm going to show you how to score a game with Hoopsalytics and all the cool things you can do um, while you're scoring. So, let's get started. Once you're logged in, go to the Games tab in Hoopsalytics and click on Start a New Game. Um, you want to pick the season that you're, uh, and usually you're going to pick your team against an outside team. You want to enter the date. Also, you want to upload the video of the game to YouTube and copy the URL here. It can be public or private, but it needs to be on YouTube. And next you pick your teams. So we'll pick our uh, my girls team. And then opposing team, you can pick an existing team you have or if it's a new team you haven't played yet. Just pick them and copy the name of the team. Like so. And now we're ready to get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to enter your starting lineups. So if I click on substitution, I can pick five players from my uh, my varsity team. Like so. And then for the other team, um, normally I don't pick the players, I just use another player. You can also add the roster if you want to. It's kind of up to you how you want to do it. And so now we can fast forward to when the action starts using the uh, plus threes or the arrow keys on your keyboard. And once the action starts, you're going to click Start Action. So every time the whistle blows, you're going to stop the action. And when the play starts, you're going to start action. That way you don't have to uh, go through the, the dead times during the, the game video. So here we go. Oh. OK, so what we had was a layup and an assist. So the assist was by Tommy. And it's a two-point made. That was by Ava. And what kind of a um, shot was it? It was a layup, like so. And where was it from? Right here. As you're scoring the game, you've got various options you can do. You can uh, basically get the kind of shot type, foul types, turnover types. You can log your offensive and defensive sets. Um, you can also get shot charts and rebounding charts. So uh, for fun, we're going to... Um, run on all the different options here. Um, the options available to you depend on the level of plan that you have. And now we can keep going. So here we're in a man-to-man -man and it's a set offense. So we can go to the defensive set as man-to-man. -man. And right now it's just a common man-to-man. -man. And then it looks like they're, the other team is in a set offense. And we'll just... Uh, make it common. You can also add special um, custom types for your own set offenses, um, and we'll get to that later when you're doing uh, inbounds plays and that sort of thing. But for now, we'll just call it a common set offense. So there was a three-point miss. So we can go three-point miss. Belco. Uh, as we'll say, it's lightly contested. And where to come from was here. And on we go. And then there was a rebound. So the offensive rebound. So we can go to offensive rebound. And it was by the Alco Varsity. And where was the offensive rebound? About here. And so this will show up in the rebounding charts as we go. So let's continue. And again, there's a miss shot. So we got two point miss. Alco. That was kind of a jump shot, and it's right about here. Yep. And there's a defensive rebound. And that was done by Ava, and it's right about here. And off we go. So this is going to be a transition. So we're going to log this as a transition. Okay, so the whistle blows, so we can go to the stop action. So don't really need to record that stuff. And we'll wait till the action starts again. So once the action is about to start, you can click Start Action. And you can use the space bar to move the video. And so right now, this looks like it's a uh, blob, a baseline inbounds play, so we can mark it as a blob. 
and we've got a blob type called 31, so we're going to use that. Um, and let's see what happens. And then, and so it looks like this goes into the set offense. Now we can just click into set offense and click the common one. So this one now looks like it's a four high, so we can go set offense. We can add a new type, we'll call it four high. Again, we can track these plays as we go as well. So you'll notice all the events are recorded on the left-hand side here. Um, sometimes you need to delete them or edit them, so you can just click on the badge. This one we want to edit, and we want to um, call this the 4 high, so we can track it later. Um, we can also edit the, where it appears on the timeline, or different event types, etc. Um, or if you ever need to delete something, if you want to delete the blob event, you could do it like so. Okay, so here's a sequence where the other team is going to score. Um, we can log this as a fail. On our end. So it looks like Emily number five was kind of out of position here. So we can log this as a fail. Who was the fail? Emily. And she was, uh, she probably didn't help. We'll say no help. So this is a great way for uh, keeping track of your defensive miscues and keeping your players accountable for playing good defense as well as all the other fun stuff that you can do. Okay, so now we're about to see a turnover. Let's see how we log this. So it looks like we'll call that a lost dribble. So a turnover. I think that was Emily again. And we'll say dribble lost. So again, you can track all the different turnover types as well as everything else. And it also shows up in the um, event log. Okay, next I'll show you an example of some advanced assist tracking. So here we've got the rebound. And it's going to be a transition. And that's a great pass, except she blew the layup. So we would call this another assist. That was by Ava. And we'll call it a potential assist because um, it didn't lead to a basket, but it's still you know, noteworthy. And then the two point miss by um, Elena. Like so. And that was a missed layup. And from here. So actually I messed up on the last uh, tracking. It wasn't Elena that missed it, it was Emily, but I can go back in and edit the event and I can assign it to the proper uh, person, like so. Okay, so the last thing to keep track of is substitutions. Um, sometimes you have to pay attention to see who's in and who's out. So here we have Annika coming out and uh, looks like Emma's coming in. So we can go substitution. And then Annika's out, and Emma is in. And again, these are logged in the uh, event log here. And when you do substitutions, you can also go uh, pick five players if you want, um, start of a quarter, or if you just want to reset and see who's in the game at a particular time, um, it's really handy to do it that way. So you've got two different ways of uh, managing substitutions. So here's a couple final hints when you're scoring. Uh, if you click on the time in the event log, you can go back to a particular place where an event happened if you need to check substitutions or maybe you want to make note of it. Um, and then the last thing we can do is we can also add clips and um, save comments for later. So this one, I really liked it. It's a great transition. So make a great hustle. And when I do a, a, a film session later on, I'll have this clipped and it'll show up um, in a list of clips to, to, to view. Um, so that's kind of how that works. And that's all everything you need to know about Hoopsalytics for scoring. Um, hope it makes sense. Please reach out if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.